Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. Today is my June submission for Inky and Scrappy's Get Creeping on Halloween hashtag. And today we're going to do a full front shaker card. Um, I did a lot of the prep work up front. I'm using a, I think, 2023 Doodlebug paper pad for the black stripes and the little tag. And I'll be using 65 pound cardstock from Michael's Recollections for the black card base. Um, I don't mind doing it in a lighter weight because I do add like the white panel so I can write on it on the inside. And we're going to be doubling up the front and then adding foam and everything to it. So it'll be strong enough for a card, no problem. So right now I'm just gluing in a little tiny strip of the stripe. I don't do this very often, but I thought it would just be nice to use up that strip. And we're going to add this white panel, which I cut down to four by five and a quarter and putting it on the inside of the card, just so we have somewhere to write our sentiment. You could use gel pens for that instead, but I prefer to have the white backing and write in black ink. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. And now I'm gluing on the front panel. Again, I cut this slightly smaller than four and a quarter by five and a half, just so that it wouldn't, you know, peep out the edges too much. And this is a frame I had from last week's video. This was like the third one I was going to use. It's also scrap paper. So I ended up cutting out another frame in the black and gluing it on top. And I'll be using that for my shaker. This is my half inch wide by 16th inch thickness tape from Michaels. And we're going to cut it up because it's exactly like half an inch. And so is this border. So I don't want it to show so I'm going to just kind of cut it down to quarter inch strips and then put them close to the inner panel. I'm okay that it doesn't cover the whole frame. It's not a problem. And then I'm making sure that the smoother edges like the non-cut edges are going up against it because it'll be not sticky. Uh, if you put the cut edges up against the inside it could potentially be a bit sticky and then your shaker bits will attach to it. Um, so I just, I make sure that the straighter edges is towards the shaker section. And then once that's done, I'm going to use these so-called shaker bits. Um, they're actually meant for nail decals. They're like little tiny sequins, like flat confetti bits, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I bought these a long time ago and it, it came in like six packages with mm -hmm. these two four six eight like ten twelve there's twelve okay so six times twelve there are duplicates of some sections so i have two of this like a green purple black and i think mm -hmm. white so i'm just going to be adding both of those because this is a fairly like large area to cover and then I'm going to add the frame on top of that. I did add some anti-static powder tool to the edges just in case of the tape. And I should have done it to the back panel as well because it does stick a little bit. But that's okay. Uh, we'll just leave it the way it is. I always have some kind of problems with shaker cards. Usually it's the static. Or I don't let it sit long enough for the glue to dry. So it becomes a problem. <laughs> Um, but this looks pretty cool and I like the way that it sticks to the background. It kind of like tones down that stripe. Like I love black and white stripes, but sometimes it's a little hard on the eyes. So next I'm just going to add one of these doodle pop pumpkins that I got from Hollow Tree Hobbies. I think I got the paper pad from Hollow Tree Hobbies as well. So if, if she still has it available, I'll link it. If not, I'll try to find it elsewhere. Um, and then I'll be popping up the tag that I cut out on some foam tape and then adding a little black and white bow to it um but yeah that's pretty simple quick card for today i only did this at like two times usually most of my videos are three to five depending on the length of the video um so again quick and easy to put together and i was struggling a little this month to figure out what i wanted to do i didn't really have a plan so this just came to mind because i had some of the stuff available next month's video was already planned in my head because for July this year, I'll be doing the entire month as Christmas in July. Instead of doing two videos, I'll have 10 Christmas themed videos starting next Friday. And even my Get Creeping on Halloween video will be kind of Christmas themed. So if you guys were here around Halloween time last year, I think I mentioned some ideas 
So you may or may not know how that relates. If you watch the videos, you might find out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's our card for today, guys. Thanks again for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you guys use Doodlebug products too. I think they're absolutely adorable. I don't buy everything, but if it's themed for what I want, then I will definitely jump on it. Um, also, subscribe if you haven't subscribed because I'd love to have you here. And you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. So until the next time, guys, thanks. Bye.